Namaste. Hello, everyone. It's good to see you back here. It's Sherry and Trey again. Good. <laughs> so take a moment to get settled in. Find a nice, comfortable seat at the top of the mat. Ground to the sit bones. Close your eyes. Allow your spine to be long and straight. Take a moment, let everything settle in. Find a nice, comfortable breathing pattern. We're going to open our practice with three ohms. Take a deep breath in. Samasta Sukhinom Bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be free from pain and suffering. Namaste. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. Allow your hands to rest on your knees. Find that nice long spine again. We'll take a few gentle stretches before we get into our sun citations. So take the right fingertips out to the side. Inhale, tip the left palm up and over. Find a nice rainbow shape. Allow the sit bones to stay grounded. Relax the left shoulder as you reach the fingertips towards the side wall. Come back through a neutral spine. We'll switch to the other side. Inhale, right arm up. Rainbow over the body. Relax that shoulder as you reach the fingertips towards the side wall. Good. Come back through that neutral spine. We're going to do that a couple more times, only a little bit more dynamic, so we'll move into it. Inhale, left arm comes up, reach across the room. Come back through that neutral spine. Switch to the other side, reach across. Come back through that neutral spine. Two more on each side. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, release. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, release. One more on each side. Inhale, left. Exhale, release. Inhale, right. And exhale, release. Good. Bring the hands alongside the body. Allow the palms to face up. As you inhale, bring the palms to touch. Relax the shoulders down and back. Good. Exhale, press the palms away from you and allow the fingers to come back towards the earth. Two more circles here. Palms face up. Inhale, bring them to touch. Exhale, press the air away from the body. One more here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, press the air away. Now inhale, lifting the hands back up to touch. Coming into a spinal twist, bring the right arm across the body and press the back of the hand into the left thigh. Use your back arm like a kickstand, sliding the heel of the palm as close to the midline of the spine as you can and maybe gaze over your left shoulder. Good. Making our way back to the center. Inhale, lift up, relax those shoulders. And move over to the opposite side. Hello, Sherry. Good. As you inhale, lift the arms back up. And as you exhale, you're going to fold over the legs, releasing the hands to the earth. You could stay up nice and tall, pressing into the heel of the palm, lifting the heart through the arms. 
If you feel you can go a little further, slide the hands away from the body. Release the forehead to touch the mat. Good. Take another breath here. Now press into the hands. Don't come all the way up. You're just going to lift the forehead off the mat. Walk the hands across the left knee. You can keep the hands in line with each other. Take a moment here. Press into the heel and see if you can find a little more twist from the base of the spine. If you're a little more flexible, lower the forearms to the earth. Keep both sit bones grounded. Breathe through the right side body. Good. Press into the hands. Come back to the center. And now walk the hands to the opposite side. Good. Take another breath here. Press into the hands. Walk yourself back through the center. And roll yourself up to sit. Good. Bring the legs out in front. Bend the knees. You're going to lie back on the mat. Nice little warm-up before we get really started. So we're going to set yourself up for a bridge pose. We're going to sweep the arms up over our head along with lifting the hips. So separate the feet, hips width apart. Bring the heels close to the seat, arms alongside the body. Take a moment, get comfortable here. Feel the back of the head pressing into the earth. Feel the low back touching. Inhale. Gently lift the hips up towards the sky, ground through the soles of the feet, and then sweep the arms up overhead, pressing into the backs of the hands. Maybe you can lift the hips a little higher. Good. Exhale. Bring the arms forward. Lower the seat. We'll do a few more here. Inhale. Press into the feet. Lift the arms up overhead. Exhale. Release. We'll do three more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. One more. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, release. Good. Keep a bend in the knees. You're going to cross the left ankle over the right, finding this nice figure four stretch. Left hand comes to the thigh. You're going to press that knee towards the front of your mat. Feel a nice gentle opening of the hip crease here. Good. Release that press. Slide the hands underneath the right thigh and pull the right thigh into the body. You can use that left elbow to press the knee away from you as you draw the right leg closer. You can... Draw some circles with the right foot, either direction, and when you're ready, you would switch. Good. See if you can find a little more space. Keep pressing the knee away, drawing the right thigh closer to the chest. When you're ready to release, lower the right foot to floor and keep the figure four stretch. Bring the arms alongside the body. We're going to take a nice single leg bridge here. So ground firmly through the sole of the right foot. Lift both hips up. Good. When you're ready to release, lower the sit bones back down. Good. Extend the left leg straight up towards the sky. You can slide the hands behind the thigh and take a moment here to readjust. Back of the head touching the mat, low back. You can keep the right knee bent with the foot on the floor. You feel a little more flexible, extend that right leg straight down the mat. Good. If this is enough, stay here. If you wish to take this into a deeper stretch, slide the hands higher up towards the ankles. Good. Relax the shoulders, the head, the neck. Take a moment, come back to the breath. If you wish to go a little deeper, you can bend the elbows up towards the sky, lift the head, neck, and shoulders, maybe bring the forehead towards the shin or knee. When you're ready to release, lower the head, neck, and shoulders. 
You're gonna bend that right knee if you extended it down the mat and come back to that figure four stretch. Expand the arms in both directions. We're gonna let the knees, we're gonna let the legs fall over to the right side first. So the left foot touches the earth, the entire foot is flush on the ground and the left knee points up towards the sky. Breathe into the low back. You can keep your gaze looking up or over your left shoulder if that feels better. Gently float the knees back through the center. And now let the legs fall over to the opposite side. We're falling over to the left now. So the left ankle rests on top of the right thigh. Coming into the spinal twist, set your gaze over the right fingers. Good. Come back to the center, release the light, left leg down. Let's switch to the other side. Find that figure four stretch, right ankle comes across left thigh. Right hand presses the thigh away from the body. Breathe into the right crease of the hip. Find a little more space there. Gently release that press. Slide the hands under the left thigh. Right elbow presses the knee away as you gently pull the left thigh towards the body. Keep pressing the back of the head into the mat to find that nice long neck. Each exhale, you can find a little more space. Breathe into the right side hip. Good. Lowering the left foot down, keep the figure four stretch, arms alongside the body. Coming into that single leg bridge, Press into the hands, press into the sole of the left foot, lifting the hips. Nice, strong body here. Gently release both hips down. Extend the right toes up towards the sky. Slide the hands behind the thigh. Take a moment to see where you need to be. You can extend the left leg down the mat if it feels okay for you. If you wish to go deeper, you slide the hands closer to the ankle. Good. Keep the head relaxed for a moment. Come back to the breath. Gently bend the elbows, lifting the forehead towards the shin or the knee. Relax the muscles of the face and breathe. Gently release the head, neck, and shoulders. Slide the left heel back towards the seat and find that figure four stretch one more time. Expand the arms in both directions. Allow the right foot to fall towards the earth and the right knee point up towards the sky. Breathe through the hip and the right side body. Come back to the center. Spinal twist to the other side, lower the knees. <laughs> Good. Come back to the center, release the right foot down. You can gently hug both knees into the body, rock from side to side, let go of any tension in the low back. You can draw circles here if that feels okay. We're going to come up to sit. So you can rock yourself forward and back or gently just press yourself up. You can take a couple of swings. Good. Maybe one more. Come up to that seated position. Take a moment. Come back to the breath. We're going to come up to the stand at the front of our mat. So you can just help yourself up. A few rounds of sun citations here. Take a moment. You can bring the feet together or stack them underneath the hips if you need a wider stance. 
Ground through the soles of the feet, come into mountain pose, arms alongside the body, relax the shoulders, draw the navel towards the spine. Inhale, exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Inhale, lift up, arch the spine. Exhale, hinge forward at the hips, fold. Good. Fingers in line with the toes. Let the crown of the head fall forward and down. On your next inhale, step the right leg back, coming into equestrian pose, release that back knee down. Pressing into the fingers, lift the heart, relax the shoulders. Step back to a tall plank. Good. Lowering the body, knees, chest and chin, ashtanga namaskar, elbows hug into the body. On your next inhale, slide the heart forward into a baby cobra. Good. Release the forehead to the mat and stay. Separate the feet to the edges of the mat. Good. Press into the hands. Inhale, lift the heart up one more time. Release the forehead to the mat. Bring the legs back together. Press back into a downward facing dog. You can roll through the knees first if you need. Draw both hips back, come into a nice inverted V shape. Good. Let's do a three-legged dog here. So lift that right leg up behind you. Don't worry about coming up too high. We're just getting started. Good. Set your gaze forward. Gently step that right foot between the hands. Coming into equestrian pose, release the left knee down. Pressing into the fingers, lift the heart, relax the shoulders. Left foot steps forward to meet the right, Uttanasana. Good. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands to prayer. Left side, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left leg back. Equestrian pose. Step back to a tall plank. Good. Lower the knees, the chest, and the chin. Good. Inhale, slide forward. Baby cobra. Lower the forehead to touch the mat. Separate the feet to the edges of the mat. Inhale, press and heal the palm. Lift the heart. Relax the shoulder. Release the forehead. Bring the legs back to touch. Come into your downward facing dog. Take your time. You can roll through the knees if you need. Good. Ground through the thumb and forefinger, draw the tailbone back. Three-legged dog, extend the left toes up behind you. Good. Gently step that left foot forward between the hands. Equestrian pose. Right leg comes forward to meet the left, Uttanasana. Good. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, hands to prayer. Good. All right, let's do that a couple more times. Inhale, exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right leg steps back, release the knee. Retain the breath, tall plank. Lowering the body, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, slide the heart forward, baby cobra or cobra. Release the forehead to the mat and stay. Now, if you want, you can separate the feet as wide as the mat. If you're ready for a nice, easy bow, bend the knees, slide the hands back, grab hold of the feet or the ankles. Good. Come back to the breath. Inhale, kick the feet into the hand, lift the thighs and the chest off the mat. Good. Gently release back down. Release the feet to the back of the mat, hands into the shoulders. Press back, downward facing dog. Good. Three-legged dog. Right leg lifts up, point the toes. 
You have the option to stay here or bend that knee and drape it over the body. Good. Coming back to the three-legged dog. Set your gaze forward and step the right foot between the hands. Left knee down. Good job, Sherry. Left foot steps forward to meet the right. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to prayer. Left side, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left leg back. Retain for plank. Good. Exhaling, lower the body, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, slide forward. Release the forehead. Option to stay or come into your bow. Bend both knees, slide the hands back. Come back to the breath. Inhale, kick the feet into the hands. Maybe the big toes touch. Peeling the thighs and heart off the mat. Release the forehead. Release the legs. Bring the hands back under the shoulders. Pressing back, downward facing dog. Good. Three-legged dog, left leg lifts up, point the toes. Option to bend the knee, drape it over. Come back to the three-legged dog. Step the left foot forward between the hands, right knee down. Good. Right foot steps forward to meet the left, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands to the heart. How are we doing so far? Good? Good. Want to add on? <laughs> yeah. Inhale, exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right leg steps back, low lunge. You have the option to stay here or release the top of the foot. If it works for you, slide the arms in line with the ears. Inhale, lifting up. Press into the top of the foot, sink the hips forward and down. Lift the back of the heart up towards the sky. Good. Now release the hands. Allow them to frame the foot. Now gently walk the left toes towards the long edge of the mat and bring the left hand under the shoulder. Good. From here, we'll come into an easy triangle. Press the left shoulder into the knee. Inhale, right arm lifts up. Good. Take another breath. Release the right hand down. Now bring both shoulders over the wrist, tuck the toes and lift the back knee off. We're gonna come into a nice wide-legged forward fold. So pivot the right heel down and walk the hands to the long edge of the mat. Readjust the legs if you need so you can line the heels up with the back of the mat. Good. Pressing firmly into the blades of the feet. You can let your hands wrap around the ankles, around the blades of the feet. You can place the hands on your shoulder. See what works for you. Whenever you're, let, whenever you're ready, you can let the crown of the head fall towards the earth. Tailbone lifts up. Good. If all 10 fingers are reaching the outer blades of the feet, bend the elbows to the side wall. Let the crown of the head reach towards the floor. Tailbone lifts up a little higher. Good. Now if you're stepping on the fingers, gently release one at a time, bringing the hands and the shoulders find a nice flat back. Nice and strong through the legs, so engage the muscles of the thighs. We'll take a little twist here. Right hand comes under the feet. Inhale, left arm lifts up, reaching the fingers towards the sky. Good. Gently release. Left hand comes under the face. Inhale, right fingers reach up. Gently release. We'll take that twist one more time. You can do the same variation, or if you feel comfortable, take the right hand 
reach across and grab hold of the left ankle or heel. Sweep the left fingertips up towards the sky. Let the crown of the head fall towards the earth. Heart opens. Good. Gently release. We'll switch to the other side. Any variation that worked for you, bring the left hand across to the heel if that feels okay. Grab hold of the heel of the ankle. Sweep the right fingers up. Good. Gently release the right hand down, bringing the hands under the shoulders. Let's pivot towards the front of the mat. So coming back into that equestrian pose, stay for a breath. Good. Releasing the hands to frame the foot, step back to a tall plank. Good. Lowering the body, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, slide the heart forward, cobra pose. Exhale, release the forehead, touch the mat. Options to take another bow pose here, or maybe another cobra or sphinx. Grab hold of the tops of the feet, let the forehead or chin rest. Inhale, kick the feet back, lift the heart, lift the thighs. Gently release out of the pose, release the legs. Preparing to come back to a downward facing dog. Good. Ground to the thumb and forefinger, draw the hips back. Moving into that three legged dog, the right leg lifts up behind you, point the toes. Option to bend the knee, open the hips. If you know how to flip your dog, release the right foot under the seat. You can turn the hips towards the sky or maybe reach the arm back behind you. Good. Come back, three-legged dog. Gently step the right foot forward between the hands, equestrian pose. Release the left knee down. Good. Stay here for a breath. Now step the left leg forward to meet the right. Uttanasana. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, hands to the heart. Good. Come back to the breath. Now you have to do the left side, Sherry. Sorry, baby. <laughs> Inhale, exhale, hands to the heart. Good. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold. Good. Come back to the breath. Inhale, left leg steps back. Release the knee. Equestrian pose. Option to stay here or come into Kapyasana. Release the top of the foot. Lift the torso. Bringing the arms in line with the ears. Relax the shoulders here. Lift the back of the heart towards the sky. Sink the hips down. All the weight pressing into the top of the left foot. No pressure on the knee. Good. Releasing the hands to frame the foot. Heel to the right foot to the long edge of the mat. Bring the right arm to the inside of the right leg. Pinky the pinky finger lines up with the inseam of the foot. Coming into that easy triangle pose. Reaching the left fingers up. Sink the hips forward and down. Relax the shoulders. Good. Release the left hand down. Tuck the toes on that back foot. Lift the knee off the mat. And let's come back into that wide-legged forward fold. So walk the hands to the long edge of the mat. You can line the heels up with the length of the mat, the edge of the mat, if that feels okay. Bringing the hands under the shoulders to begin. Press into the heel of the palm. Draw a V-shape with the shoulders down the back. Let the crown of the head move forward and the tailbone back. Good. Whenever you're ready, you're going to come into another fold. So you can start to walk the hands back, if you wish, lowering the crown of the head towards the earth. Good. Take any variation you did on the other side. Grabbing hold of the feet. We can actually walk our hands through. Oh no, COVID, we can't. Good. 
There's so many variations you can take of this posture here. Try to relax the shoulders. Allow the tailbone to lift up towards the sky. Maybe the crown of the head touches the earth. Good. When you're ready to release out of the pose, bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Find that neutral spine. Again, we'll take a nice spinal twist. You can bring the right hand under the face. Inhale, lift the left fingers up. If you wish to go a little further, right hand grabs, hold the left heel. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Good. Gently release. Come back to that neutral spine. Switching to the other side. Left hand under the face or left hand grabs the right heel. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Good. Gently release. Press into the blades of the feet. Nice flat back. Inhale, lift up. Good. I dropped my mic. We actually have to turn back to the front of the mat. So when you're ready, pivot your feet so that the toes face the front of the mat. Once again, release that back knee down. Good. Now step back to that tall plank. Take a moment here. Come back to the breath. When you're ready, go through your vinyasa. Lower the knees, the chest, the chin. Inhale, slide the heart forward. Cobra pose. Exhale, release the forehead to touch the mat. Option to come into another baby cobra or take your bow. Bend the knees, reach back, grab the feet. Good. Inhale, press the feet into the hands. Lift the heart, lift the thighs. Good. Gently release. Release the forehead to touch the mat, hand under the shoulders. Prepare for downward facing dog. Shift the hips back. The highest point. Inverted V. Good. Three-legged dog. Left leg lifts up. Point the toes. Option to bend the knee. If you wish to flip your dog, release the left foot underneath the seat. Pivot the hips up. Option to extend that left arm back behind you. Coming back to the three-legged dog. Good. Gently step the left foot forward between the hands. Right knee down. Equestrian pose. Right foot steps forward. Meet the left. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Good job. How are you doing? Feeling good? <sighs> yeah. Good. All right. We're going to do one more variation. So we'll come into a standing posture. Good. <laughs> good. Inhale, exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stepping the right leg back. Release the knee. Good. Now retain the breast for plank. Lowering the body, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Cobra or upward facing dog. Downward facing dog and stay. Come into that three-legged dog. Point the toes. Yeah. Now we're going to roll forward into a tall plank, bringing the knee to tap the elbow. Right elbow. <laughs> Let it hover for five minutes or more. Just kidding. Press back, three-legged dog. Now pull that right knee into the center of the chest. Try to pull the thigh, hug it as close to the body as you can. Good. Three-legged dog. Let's see if you can take that knee across the body to the left elbow. Let it touch. Option to extend that leg straight out, coming to that falling star. With control, come back to that three-legged dog. Good. Set your gaze forward. 
and step the right foot between the hands, keeping the back knee off the mat. Good. So the fingertips are in line with the toes. Try not to collapse the chest on the thighs. Press into the right foot and the ball of the left foot. Good. Inhale, lift the arms up. Nice and strong in the legs. Good. You have the option to stay here. If it's available, you can bend that left knee, let it tap the mat. Straighten it out. Bend the left knee. Straighten it out. One more bend. And straighten. Good. Release the hands to frame the foot. You're going to step that left foot in just a little bit, maybe about a foot or so, and straighten out that front leg. So we're going to come into a forward triangle, bringing the hands in line with the toes. You can let the chest rest over the right thigh. So keep moving that left hip forward, right hip back. Try to keep the hips in one line. Good. Take another breath here. Good. If it's available, you can come into a standing split. So, so get, set your gaze at the top of the foot. Start to shift the weight forward. Extend that left leg up behind you. So if this is new to you, you can press the heel towards the back wall. If you have a little more flexibility, extend those toes up towards the sky. Maybe grabbing hold of the back of the right leg. Good. If you're holding onto the back of the leg, gently release the hand. Bending the front knee, we're going to step back into that nice high lunge. Good. Lifting the arms up. Relax the shoulders. How are you doing? Good. Transition to a warrior two. Pivot the left heel down, open the arms wide. Readjust whatever you need here. Lining the right heel up with the insole of the left foot or the, or the heel. The right knee directly over the ankle. Expand the arms in both directions. Good. Take another breath here. Peaceful warrior. Left hand touches the back of the leg. Tip the right palm up. Inhale, reach up and back. One more breath. Good. Moving into side angle pose. Expand the arms in both directions. Release the forearm to the top of the thigh. The left fingers reach towards the sky. Try not to collapse on this right arm here. Keeping your gaze up at the left thumb. Take another breath. Coming back to the warrior two. Press firmly into the feet, keeping the legs as they are. Expand the arms in both directions. Reverse that warrior, peaceful warrior, one more time. Good. Coming back through warrior two, cartwheel the hands to frame the foot, step back to a tall plank. Go through your vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Cobra or upward facing, downward facing dog, and stay. Good. <laughs> Doesn't it? Good. Set your gaze towards the front of the mat. Soft bend the knees. You can step, walk, or float. Feet to meet the hands. Uttanasana. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, hands to the heart. Good news, bad news? You have one more side to do. <laughs> Good. Inhale, exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, left leg steps back. Release that knee. Retain the breath. Plank. Lowering the body. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Cobra or upward facing dog. Downward facing dog and stay. Good. Take another gentle breath here. Lifting that left leg up behind you. Point the toes. Three-legged dog. 
We're going to roll forward into a tall plank, bringing the left knee to tap the left elbow. Hover. Press back, three-legged dog. Come back through the midline of the body. Hug it deep into the chest. Three-legged dog. Take it under the body, tapping the right elbow. Option to extend that leg, falling star. Coming back to the three-legged dog, pressing those left toes up. Good. Step the left foot through the hands, preparing for that nice high lunge. So readjust whatever you need here. Press into the sole of the left foot. Ground to the ball of the right. When you're ready, sweep the arms up. Come into this nice high lunge. You have the option to bend the knee, tap it to the mat, lift up, bend the knee, lower it down, lift up. One more, bend that knee, lift back up. Good. Then release the hands to frame the foot. Good. Straightening out that front leg, step that right foot back. I'm sorry, step the right foot forward a little bit, coming into that pyramid pose. Releasing the, the chest to fold over the left thigh. Coming back to the breath. Take another breath here. The option is stay here. We're coming to that standing split, shifting the weight forward, bringing the right heel up behind you, or maybe extending those toes towards the sky. Good. Grabbing hold of the left heel or ankle, reaching the right toes towards the sky. When you're ready to release, step back into that nice high lunge. Bend that front knee, release the right foot down. Inhale, lifting up the arms. Good. Coming into warrior two, visit that right heel down. Left knee over the ankle, lining up with the second and third toe. Readjust whatever you need. When you're ready, expand the arms in both directions. Good. Shoulders and hips line up. Setting your gaze over the left fingers. Coming into that peaceful warrior. Release the back fingers. Sit the left palm out. Reach back. Good. Warrior two. Come into the side angle pose. Release the left forearm. Reach the right arm up. Good. Warrior two. Peaceful. One more time. Come back through warrior two. Cartwheel the hands to frame the foot. Step back to a nice tall plank. Another option here. Take a vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Cobra or upward facing. Downward facing dog and stay. Come back to the breath. Set your gaze forward, soft on the knees, step, walk, or float. Feet to meet the hands, Uttanasana. Inhale, reach the arms out, lift the heart. And exhale, back to prayer. Good, take a moment, come back to the breath. How are we doing? Good, all right. You ready to do some uh, balancing postures? Um, ready to watch. <laughs> Good. All right. All right. Simon says, sorry, you have to do it. Good. We're going to come into a dancer pose. So you can step that left leg forward, bend the right knee, keep the knees in line with each other. If this is enough, stay here. If you can, grab hold of the ankle or the foot, lining the knees back up. You can hold on to something if you need to. Yeah, good. Take a moment, come back to the breath. If this is enough, stay here. 
If you feel comfortable, extend the left fingertips up towards the sky and relax that shoulder. If you can go a little further, start to press the foot into the hand and extend those fingers towards the front, front of the mat, towards the front of your room. Good. Take another breath here. When you're ready to release, gently lift yourself back and release the right leg and shake them out. Switching to the other side, ground to the sole of the right foot. Again, you could just bend that left knee and draw the knees in line, or maybe grab hold of the foot or ankle. Using a strap here is nice too. See how you feel. Relax this left shoulder. If you can, right arm reaches up, relax the right shoulder too. Then the option, start to press the foot into the hands. Reach the right fingers forward. Good. Whenever you're ready, gently lift yourself back up to stand. Release the left leg. Shake it out. Well done. Good. We can face them now together. Good. I won't come on your mat. Don't worry. All right. From here, you get a ground to the sole of the left foot. You can bring the right toes forward. You have the option to just lift the knee up and support the the leg here. Create this soft basket. Keep grounding to the sole of the left hip. Try not to let the hips collapse here. So stand up nice and tall. Maybe you can extend the foot forward. Relax the shoulders. If you feel you can go a little further, lift the arms up. Relax those shoulders. Pressing the sole of the foot towards the front of the room. If you can, we'll transition into a warrior three. Bend the knee, draw the knees in line. Start to shift the heart forward and extend that leg back behind you, coming to this nice T shape. Good. Gently lifting yourself back up the stand, bring the knee back out in front of you. Extend that leg one more time. Good. Soft bend in the knee. Release the foot and release the arms. Well done. Good. Shake out the legs. We'll switch to the other side. Ground through the sole of the right foot. Good. Bring the left toes forward. Stand up nice and tall. Begin to draw that knee up and support the leg if you need. Relax the shoulders. Second variation is to extend that foot straight out. Press the ball of the foot towards the front of the room. Relax the shoulders. If you wish, release the arms, balancing on the right leg. Option to come into that warrior three. Bend the knee, slide the knees in line, arms extended out in front, lower the heart towards the earth, extend the left leg back behind you. Find that nice T shape. Coming back to the previous pose, knees together and extend that left leg out in front. Good. Release the left leg. Release the arms. You hanging in there, kid? Good. Okay, good. Let's come down to the mat. Good. I'll let you come back to the breath, Sherry. <coughs> good. All right, are you ready to keep going? All right, we're going to shift the weight to one side. So come to the left side. If you can, you're going to bring that right leg across the body. So here what you want to do is you want to cross the legs. So if it looks something like this and you can't quite get the knees to stack, start to shift the weight forward, stack the right knee in front of the left, and let the feet turn out to the sides. Then let the sit bones touch the earth again. Both sit bones touching. The feet are out to the side. I'm not sitting on that heel. Start to sit up nice and tall. Relax the shoulders. Good. Take a breath here. See how you feel. You have options to add the arms in here. If it feels okay, extend the right arm up. Bend the elbow. Use the left hand to guide the elbow behind the head so you can line up the arm with the length of the spine. Relax the shoulders. 
So try to press the head into the arm. Find a deeper stretch to the backs of the arms. If you can, take the left hand around. You can grab hold of the shirt, or maybe you can use a strap here. Or grab hold of the fingertips, relax the shoulders. Find a nice long spine. Maybe you can set your gaze up so the head presses a little bit more into the arm. Deeper stretch. The option to stay here. Or start to shift the weight forward, folding over the thighs. Good. Gently lift yourself back up to sit. Release the left arm if you took the bind. Release the right. Extend the arms out in both directions. Good. Bring the right arm across. Give it a nice big hug. Relax the shoulder. As you exhale, hug it nice and close to the body. Expand the arms in both directions. Now allow the left arm to come across. Relax that shoulder. Good. And gently release. Bring the hands back behind you. You can shift the weight so you can readjust the legs. Switching to the other side. Yeah. Good. So again, take, a, take your time here. You can readjust. Start to shift the weight forward, stacking left knee in front of right. Let the feet come out to the sides. And then lower both sit bones. Both sit bones must touch the mat here. If this doesn't work for you, I should have said it before, you can just cross the legs or sit in hero's pose and just do the arm stretches with us. Take a moment, get comfortable in the pose. How are you doing, Sherry? Okay, good, good. So now you're not sitting on these heels, important. Good. If and when you're ready, extend the left arm up, relax the shoulders. You can use the right hand here, help bend the elbow. If this is enough, stay here. Or maybe slide that arm behind the head, relax the shoulder. Good. Take a moment, see where you need to be. Spine is nice and long, back of the head pressing into the arm. If you have a bind, sweep the right arm around. You can catch hold of the shirt or maybe the opposite fingers. Good. Relax once again. If you want a deeper stretch, start to set your gaze up towards the sky. So the back of the head presses into the arm and you can feel a deeper stretch. The option to fold over the legs. Good. Rolling yourself back up to sit. Releasing the bind if you have one. Extend the arms in both directions. Left arm comes across. Shoulder stretch. Relax the shoulder. Hug it close to the body. Switch to the other side. Good. Good. And gently release. Good. Bring those hands back behind you. Shift the weight back and extend the legs forward. Good. You can shake out the legs if you have any tension there. That's such a nice stretch, isn't it? Good. We're going to come into a staff pose here. So press into the sit bones, backs of the heels, touch the mat, toes face up. Let's take a nice forward fold before we go any further. Inhale, lifting the arms up, relax those shoulders. Exhale, shift the weight forward, folding over the legs, releasing the hands wherever you need to for support of the body. So keep the backs of the heels pressing into the earth. Maybe the peace sign fingers wrap around the big toes. If this forward fold doesn't feel right for you, you can bend the knees here, connect the chest to the tops of the thighs, and find some length through the spine. If after breath you think you can go a little deeper, bring the forehead to touch the shins. Let go of any tension in the face muscles. Relax the shoulders, the head, the neck. Breathe in through the base of the spine. Good. One more breath. When you're ready to release, extend the arms forward, ground through the sit bones, inhale, lift up, 
Gently release the arms. Good. We're going to come into a nice little shoulder stand or a sleeping tiger. So gently roll yourself back onto the mat. Take a moment to catch up with the breath. That's it. Good. Take another gentle breath here. Let go of any tension in the face. Allow the breath to settle in. Back of the head pressing into the earth. Nice long neck. Whenever you're ready, you can extend both legs up towards the sky. Readjust whatever you need here. So you're pressing into the low back area. Good. If you want to stay in a sleeping tiger, just extend the arms up alongside the legs so you look like this nice dead bug. Good. <laughs> if you think you can go a little further, release the hands by your side. You can use a little momentum to swing the legs back. Grab hold of the low back. Start to shimmy the elbows closer to the midline of the spine and maybe extend the legs up. I like to come through plow sometimes. It's a nice way to come in. I can readjust. However you need to come into your shoulder stand or stay in that sleeping tiger. If you need to make a little adjustment while you're here, you can just shift the weight from side to side. Maybe come higher up on the backs of the arms. All the weight is in the, sh in the backs of the arms, the shoulders, no pressure in the neck. Maybe you can close your eyes. Breathe in and out of the space between the eyebrows. Moving into the plow pose, you can extend those legs straight back behind you. If you need a modification, you can bend the knees and lower them to the forehead. Maybe the feet touch the floor. You can take any variation of plow you have. Once you settle in, try to become very still. You can keep the hands supporting the low back if you need. Good. Whenever you're ready to come out of the pose, extend the arms down the length of the mat. Press the hands firmly into the mat. You're going to use them like brakes. Slide the feet halfway up the curtain, the wall behind you. Start to lower your sacrum down, nice and slow. One vertebrae at a time. Once the low back touches the mat, lower the legs even slower. Maybe before those heels touch the earth, you can pause and hold for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Good. Take a resting breath here. You can separate the arms and the feet if you need. Come back to the breath. Moving into the fish pose, bring the legs back together, arms alongside the body. Take a moment, come back to the breath. Start to rock from side to side. Hide the arms completely, thumbs touch. Elbows come closer together. On your next inhale, press into the elbows, puff up the chest. Good. You can set your gaze back behind you if that feels okay, and lower the crown of the head to touch the earth. All the weight is in the backs of the arms, no tension in the neck. Breathe in and out of the heart center. Remember the dedication you set for your practice today. One more breath. Good. Gently lowering yourself out of fish. Draw the chin into the chest. Release the head, neck, and shoulders. Release the arms. Take a resting breath here. Good. Press into the back of the head. Let go of any tension in the shoulder. When you're ready, bend the knees. 
You can start to hug both legs into the body. Let go of any tension in the low back if there is any. Draw those circles either direction. We're going to rock ourselves up to sit. If you need to, curl over to a fetal position and then come up to sit. Okay. We're going to come into a nice pigeon pose. So keep the bend in the left knee, and you're going to sweep that right leg back behind you. If you need to come into this differently, go ahead. You can step back to downward facing dog first and then meet us here. So we'll hug the left foot into the body. We'll take a nice easy variation, so don't worry about going so deep. See if you can adjust the weight so you're not collapsing on that left side. Drawing the right hip closer to the earth. Good. Bringing the hands alongside the body, pressing the heel, the palm, lift the heart. Allow those toes to be pointing straight back behind you, so avoid the foot or the toes curling in. Good. You can walk the hands forward and gently lower yourself down to the forearms to start. Now there's a few variations you can take here as well. You can stay up nice and tall on the forearms. Make sure you're centering that body weight so you're not collapsing on the left seat. If you want to take a shoulder stretch here, press into the left hand, weave the right arm under, and release the weight onto the shoulder. If that's enough, stay there. Good. If you want to go a little further, you can extend that left arm up, taking a little bit of a spinal twist, and then maybe reach around, grab hold of the left big toe, drawing the heart towards the sky. Let go of any tension in the face. Take another breath here. Wherever you are, just relax into the pose. Good. If you took the spine, gently release the toe, extend the left fingers up, and then sweep the left hand back to the earth. Good. You're going to readjust, come back to the forearms. If you're still there, you can stay. If you want to take a deeper variation, you can press into the hands, lift up the torso. So you're going to turn your torso towards the long edge of the mat, bend that back knee, grab hold of the foot, or whatever you can. So even if the foot is far back behind you, that's okay. So I'm turning towards the long edge of the mat, grabbing hold of the foot or the ankle, and maybe sliding that foot into the crease of the elbow. Good. Left arm can come up, reach around. You can grab hold of the fingers or whatever you can. And then maybe shift the gaze forward again towards the front of the mat. Good. When you're ready to release out of that position, you can release the left hand, release the foot, shift the weight to the left side, and swing that right leg out, switch to the other side. Again, you can come into a downward-facing dog and meet us here if that helps you come into the posture a little bit better. Tucking the right foot into the body, so nice and easy. Don't worry about bringing the shin parallel with the mat. Pressing into the fingertips or releasing the hands, lift the heart. Drawing the left hip closer to the, to the mat. Try not to collapse on the right side. Good. You can walk the arms forward and lower yourself down to the forearms. So you find these sphinx arms again. Elbows underneath the shoulders. You could spread the fingers wide. Relax the shoulders. Lift the heart through the arms. Left hip towards the mat so you don't collapse on the right seat. The option to stay here. If after breath you wish to take that twist, a little shoulder stretch, slide the left arm underneath so the back of the left hand touches the mat, and you can release the body weight onto the shoulder. Good. If you wish to go a little further, right fingers reach up towards the sky. Breathe into the right side back. Good. If you wish to go a little further, grab hold of the right Big toe. Good. Lifting the heart towards the sky. Relax the muscles of the face. Take another breath here. Releasing that right big toe. If you're holding on, extend the fingers up. 
Gently lower the right hand to the earth. Coming back to the forearms if you're not there already. Take a moment to readjust. You can stay here pressing into the elbows, drawing the heart through the arms, or you can come into that deeper variation of pigeon. Sit up nice and tall. Turn your torso now to the left edge of the mat, the long edge. You can bend that back knee if that feels okay, and grab hold of the foot if you can. You can use a strap here if that feels all right. Maybe you can bring that foot into the crease of the elbow. Relax the shoulders. Another option is to extend that right arm up. Bend the elbow, grab hold of the fingers, the hands, the wrist, whatever you can. Then maybe turn the chest towards the front of the mat. Relax the shoulders, lift the heart. Good. You're ready to release. Release the bind if you took one. Release the right hand down. Release the left leg. Shifting the weight to the right side. Go ahead and sweep that left leg out in front of you. Good job. Good. Let's come into a spinal twist. Extend that left leg down the mat. A few variations here. You can keep the left leg extended and just bring the right leg across. That's enough. Stay here. If you wish to go ahead and bend that knee, and then slide the right leg closer to the left thigh you can. Try not to sit on this heel. Good. Sit up nice and tall. Extend that left arm up. Relax the shoulder. Take it across the body. Good. When you're ready to release, bring the chest forward. Take a counter stretch to the other side. Release the hands to the left side. You can take a small fold here. Don't worry about going so deep. When you're ready to release, gently lift yourself back up. We're going to switch the legs. Either extend the right leg out, bring the left leg across, or bend that left knee, bringing the heel close to the seat, but not sitting on it. Find length in the spine. When you're ready, the right, right arm lifts up. Take it across the body. Press the back of the arm into the leg and find your spinal twist. Now allow that left heel to be as close to the seat as you can. Relax the shoulders. You can keep your gaze in line with the chest or take a look over the left shoulder. Take another breath here. Gently releasing the twist, bring the arms forward. Take the counter stretch to the opposite side. Good. Come back to the center. Shift the weight back and extend the legs out in front. Okay, you can walk your seat back to the middle of the mat because we're going to come back to lying on the mat. So roll yourself down. Take a moment to readjust. We'll take one more stretch here and a final relaxation. So when you're ready, extend both legs up. Good. Readjust the weight so you feel okay. Now you get across the right leg in front of the left. Bend the knees and let the feet fall out to the side. So you can grab hold of the blades of the feet and start to pull the feet away from the body. So you're actually pulling the thighs. You're hugging them close into the chest. Take another breath here. Whenever you're ready, gently release. Extend the legs back up towards the sky and switch the cross of the legs. Right knee comes in front of the left. Bend the knees, let the feet fall out to the side so you can grab hold of the blades of the feet. Whenever you're ready, start to hug the thighs closer to the body and pull the feet away from you towards the edges of the mat. Pressing into the back of the head, keep the, long, the, the neck nice and long. Good. 
When you're ready to release, gently extend the legs back up. Release the arms by your side and lower the feet to touch the mat. Good. Take a moment, come back to the breath. Go ahead and walk your feet to the long edges of the mat. Separate them at least hips width apart and you can start to windshield wipe the legs from side to side. Just let the feet flop back and forth. Let go of any stale energy in the legs. Good. When you feel settled in, you can gently release. Press into the back of the head, lift the shoulders off the mat, and then settle them back down. Find a little more space there. Allow the arms to fall away from the body so the palms face up. When you feel comfortable, close your eyes. Start to bring your awareness back to the breath. Allow the breath to resume its natural breathing pattern. With each exhalation, you can let the body settle in a little bit more. Feel each point of contact where your body touches the earth. Relax the toes. Relax the soles of the feet, the tops of the feet. Relax the ankles. Relax the entire length of the legs. Relax the sit bones. Relax the hips completely. Relax the entire length of the spine. Relax the abdomen. Relax the chest. Relax all 10 fingers, backs of the hands, the palms. Relax the entire length of the arms and shoulders. Relax the head, relax the neck. Relax all the muscles of the face. Mentally repeat, I relax my entire body. My body is relaxed. Bring your awareness back to the body, becoming aware of the breath. If you have more time, you could stay in Shavasana for a little while longer. If you're ready to come out, you can start to invite some movement into the ankles, the wrists, whatever feels good. When you're ready, you can bring the legs back together. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead. Take a nice big stretch from fingers to toes. And gently release the arms alongside the body. 
curling yourself up to a fetal position on either side. Take your, mo- take your time to get there. Take a moment to relax. Whenever you're ready, you can gently press up to sit. Come to a nice, comfortable seated position. Find a nice long spine. If you can, close your eyes and relax all the muscles of the face. Remembering the dedication you set for your practice today with love, with gratitude. We'll end our practice one om, three shantis. Inhale. Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om, peace, peace, peace. Have gratitude always. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you for playing with me today. And thank you, everyone at home. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you again tomorrow.